presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lasallian Prayer. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of you. St. John Baptist the Lasall, pray for us. Give Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> You know, life has its high and low points, but low moments do not mean bad points. That's my belief. Because we can learn and grow during these moments. I have friends who have uh, found great opportunities during these low points. Uh, we need to keep our heads up no matter what. I, I'd like to express my confidence in each one of you because we, we need to jump into this kind of system uh, as an emergency scheme or method. So. So it is not purely mathematics, it's applied mathematics to solve these problems. Okay. Let me grab a copy of the paper and then the department exam, 20%. So another 100%. Okay, so you can see 50 plus 20 is 70%. 70% guru, exam quizzes there. And passing is 70. So, uh, it's a new term of full online classes, but for now, it's not something that we adjust to, it's not something new, it's more of uh, a system that we have to get used to. One of my professors made us answer a survey about how our online learning experience has been, and a majority of my classmates answered that it has been unpleasant. Well, for me, I answered pleasant. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not been very pleasant for me. Well, it's a different experience for everybody. And as for me, I've witnessed a lot of advantages. Mm, but also a lot of disadvantages, you know. Um, I couldn't agree more to what one of my fellow students said that we are more of chasing deadlines than learning because of the overwhelming tasks that online classes give us all. Our mental health is not being prioritized by this system. You know, there were times when I had to take a pause to break down because it could get unbearable sometimes, you know. Uh, it's difficult for a student like me to really handle things ahead of time. Um, there is a need for me to, you know, also make time for myself and do the things that I actually really like to do. I actually don't really know how I'm gonna express everything, but um, modules are overwhelming especially when there's a lot of reading materials provided and as much as i want to get done with everything sometimes you know i'm not able to run ahead of time i'm actually thinking i should have just answered neither pleasant nor unpleasant uh it's just in the middle basically um, I guess what led me to that answer is despite every difficulty, I'm happy that I'm able to get through it. That's what made the whole situation meaningful for me. On another note, my professor from managerial accounting 
is also a registered nurse and she told us that pandemics usually last for about two to three years and I realized, you know, it will actually take time for all of us to freely go outside. A discovery or release of a vaccine does not mean that uh, there's a safe environment for all of us. It will take a heavy amount of time. This may not be the last term of full online classes. Kind of different just always studying from home but you know thankfully I have the resources I need um, so yeah I just really wanted to share how my week has been I hope it also went well to my fellow students um, despite everything I'm glad that my professors reminded us that, you know, in our generation, we are able to adapt to this new environment. And it is just our job to never take advantage of what we have. Uh, difficulties are an inevitable part of life. It's always uncertain. We really never know what happens next. This may not be the end yet, but you know, it only helps to continue. And so, yes, I think that's everything I have to share. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.